hey, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to ring that bell to get all my recipes as soon as they come out. Now, today's recipe, very nice, one of my favorites, is bread, homemade bread. Very easy bread to make. Focaccia. But you don't have to knead this bread. Fantastic. Wonderful easy bread to make. So let's get cooking. Yeah. Hey, so you know this bread, it starts very simply, right? With yeast. There you go. I buy these little small jars of yeast. One of those little envelopes is two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. So if you're using it from this little jar, just measure out two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast every time you do a recipe per envelope. All right. Now this recipe is two and a half cups of water. Hey, just use a... Uh, like warm tap water, just warm to the, you can touch it. Just warm to the touch, that's all. One tablespoon sugar. That's gonna help feed the yeast and make the yeast active faster. I'm using my two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. I'm gonna mix that up good. This whole thing is five cups of flour. I'm gonna just add one cup. It's gonna help to get the yeast going, that's all. That's all I'm doing here. Hey, mix that up good and then let it sit for five minutes. Okay, after five minutes, you're gonna see the yeast is starting to bubble a little bit. Um, that's good. And th that means it's active. It's active yeast. That's good. If it doesn't bubble, throw it out and start again and get some fresh yeast. Uh, if you keep your yeast a long time, man, eh, it could be dead. The yeast is an active thing. It's live. It's live. You got to treat it like it's live. Okay, the yeast is dissolved. It's active. It's good. You see a little bit of bubbles over there. Very good stuff. Now add the rest of your flour. We're going to add six tablespoons of good olive oil. Very nice. And then we're going to add four tablespoons of butter. This is a vegan butter. I'm using country crock plant butter. It's made from avocado. Very nice. I don't own stock in this company, but it's a pretty good product. Okay. And we're going to mix this oil and this butter into this dough. Use my hands just because it's easier. You feel? Right? There's your dough. Very beautiful. It's nice and soft and it feels a little bit like oily on top. Wonderful. Here's what we do next. I take a bread bag. Okay, I get these on Amazon. Pretty cheap. I'm going to take a bread bag and I'm going to pour some olive oil into the bread bag. Hey, you see the big size olive oil I have? Costco. You see a big size, you know I use a lot of olive oil. Okay, so I'm going to pour about a tablespoon or two into the bag. Okay, and then I'm just going to rub it around a little bit. So it kind of coat the inside of the bag like that. Then I can take this dough I made and put it right inside the bag. Okay, and then take a little more olive oil, put it on top of the dough so that it doesn't stick to the bag when I take it out. Now, this is very important. You get all the air out as much as you can and then just move your hand up to the top of the bag, like that, and tie a knot. Tie a knot right at the top of the bag. So it looks like that. So you got the bag and then you got this knot right at the top of the bag. So you have all this space over here. So when the bread grows, you're going to fill up this space. It has a space to grow. Now here's, you know, in my recipes I like to make them easy. So you guys can try this at home. It's wonderful. 
it's Friday night. I need this bread for Saturday. So I made the dough today. I'm going to finish the bread tomorrow. That's how it works. Because I don't want to make it on one day. It's, it's a lot to do one day. Look, I made the dough. It took me a few minutes. Now I throw it in the refrigerator. And tomorrow I can continue and make the focaccia. That's wonderful. So the dough's in the refrigerator. And I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. But I'm not working with the focaccia. I'm going to take it easy. And tomorrow, I finish the job. Today's the next day. And before I get to the dough, I have to start with the toppings. And the first topping is going to be the caramelized onions. Yeah, it's going to be delicious. Hey, the better the onion, the better the focaccia is going to be. So use a good quality onion. Texas Oh So Sweet or Vidalia or some kind of nice sweet onion. At worst, at least use a red onion. You know, just don't use the plain white onions. Use something special. You know, make your focaccia special. Just dice them large. So large means you know, about a half inch dice. Okay, I like to dice my onions, not slice them. And the reason for that is because sometimes you eat a piece of focaccia or something with some sliced onion on it, and you bite into it, and then you have the string of onions sticking out of your mouth. If you dice them, it doesn't happen that way. So I like it diced. Some things I like sliced, but some things I like diced. In this, I like it diced. Hey, if you like it sliced better, be my guest. I have my pan on medium heat, and I'm going to use about a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, onions go in. I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. These are going to take a little time. You have to just keep tossing them or mixing them until you get a nice light golden brown. Four cloves of garlic chopped up. I'm going to add a tablespoon of honey, Costco size. Then I'm going to add a half a cup of red wine. Hey, don't forget, when you're using wine, use a good wine, not a $400 bottle of wine, but not a $2 bottle of wine either. Use a wine that you like, that you would drink normally. And if you use it when you cook, your food will come out very good. I promise. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Now you want to stir this up and evaporate the wine until you have like an onion marmalade kind of consistency. Beautiful. Look at that. It smells delicious. That's good, so I'm going to take this out of the pan now and just let this onion cool down. Okay, next thing I have to do is, is cook some apple slices. So I have this big macoon apple. I love it. It's a good baking apple, macoon. Nice. And I'm going to slice it up. I'm going to leave the skin on because I think it looks nicer. I'm going to slice it up and give it a quick cook in the hot pan. I cut the apple in half. I cut each half in half, getting rid of the core. I use like a V cut, cut on an angle, and then on an angle. This is garbage, it's the core, and I have two nice pieces of apple. Then I'm going to slice them nice and thin. Just like that. I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil. To the pan. The pan's nice and hot. I'm putting my apple in. Half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of pepper. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of the pan. 
cool it down, start working on the dough. Okay, you see how this dough grew, right? In the refrigerator overnight, it's really nice. And the slower it grows, the more flavor it's gonna have. Okay, I'm using a roasting pan to cook it in. And this is... An 11 by 15 inch roasting pan. Hey, that's fine. So this pan, I think is perfect. So, I give a little spray, so I don't want it to stick. I just give the pan a little spray on the bottom. And then I'm gonna drizzle. A little olive oil on the bottom, maybe a tablespoon of olive oil, that's it. Give it some flavor. I turn the dough out into the pan, and I'm just gonna move it and stretch it out to all the sides of the pan. Right, look at these corners. Then I wanna put, remember this onion marmalade we made? I put that on top. Spread that out. Okay, now you see the apples are all spread out nice. Okay, so I have the onion, and then the apples, and then I have to make like dimples in it, like that. This is my fingers, just push down. It makes dimples. This kind of catches the flavor in the dough and makes the focaccia really taste good. And that's it. Now it has to go to 350 degree oven. It's gonna take about, hmm, I'm gonna check it in a half hour. It may take about 40 minutes. Don't forget to preheat your oven, 350 degrees. All right. I'll see you in a half hour. Listen. Okay, so I took the focaccia out of the oven. Look at that, beautiful. Now that's fully cooked, but I gotta finish it off. I gotta make it look exquisite. Now it looks beautiful. I'm gonna finish and make it look exquisite. How am I gonna do that? I put my oven on broil. I'm gonna put it in, but I gotta watch it because I'm gonna put it in, I want the top to brown a little bit. It's gonna be beautiful when it happens. First thing I have to do is give it a little bit of a spray because I don't want it to burn too much. So I give it just a little bit of a spray. Then I want to put it in the oven. Just under the broiler. I set my timer for two minutes. I don't want it to burn. I just want to get that little char on it to make it look beautiful. All right. Now you see it got a nice little char. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Hey, you want to know what else is beautiful? My sweet potato couscous. It's fantastic. You got to check that video out. That's wonderful. I'll see you there. By the way, if you hear the guys outside, they're cleaning leaves off my lawn. Fantastic. I can't do that. I make a mess. These guys are professional. All right.